What's going on, fellas? What are that was my new intro? I don't like it. But what I do like is being in the playoffs. AFC Conference Championship. Devin Duvernay will return maybe at some point. Four weeks, but he might be able to get cleared for the Super Bowl. And I don't care what the re-injury risk is. It's the Super Bowl. So until then, we'll rock with the various Givens. And of course, the brother of superstar receiver, 99 overall, Dennis Peoples Alfonso, who is not close to as good, but really isn't too bad. So there, there are things to be happy about with him. But the Browns are a very good team. The Browns have given us problems before. However, now they're only an 82 overall. They used to be higher. Seems like they've lost some talent. And the talent that they may have lost might it be at the quarterback position. I wonder if they still have Baker Mayfield. Either way, if you guys are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button as they do have Baker Mayfield. He's 30 now, 93 overall. He looks pretty good. Also, if you guys are interested in MLB The Show at all, play the baseball video game over on my second channel. I upload every day. It's like a main channel for me. Just, I happen to have this one also. So if you guys are into that, it would help me out a tremendous amount if you were able to show support on the second channel. Hit that subscribe button. Completely free to do. Bengal Plays. Link, as always, to my Twitch, where I stream every day. My Twitter, where I tweet every day. My Instagram, which exists. That's kind of all I can say about that. The links are in the description. Your love would be tremendously appreciated, as Baker's a beast. Nick Chubb is a monster. He's going to be very annoying to stop today. Can I just end the video now? I don't want to face this. I do not want to face 99 break tackle, 99, 99 ball carry revision, carrying, trucking, stiff arm. Is that 93? I don't want to, I don't want to play anymore. I, we, you've seen what Marlon Mack can do if you've watched the series. It's, I, don't, I don't want to do it. Odell still looks very good. Jarvis Landry is there. Bradley Collins, Brett Doyle, Max Broughton. Austin Hooper's in 95. Are we going to create any pressure? Jedrick Wills, Joel Batonio, Rodney Hudson they have, Bruce Archer, so a bit of a hole at right guard, and then Jack Conklin. How are we going to stop this offense? Greg Grimes, Miles Garrett. How are they only an 82 overall? The beast out of Charlotte, Larry Ogunjobi, Emmanuel Barker looks okay, Anzalone looks okay. They've got some pretty good depth at middle linebacker. Mac Wilson's a 93 overall superstar X-Factor. With unstoppable force. What is happening? Denzel Ward against Dennis Peoples is a matchup to watch. Justin Johnson looks okay. Jamie Porter and Noah Igbenogany look okay. Grant Delpit's an 88. And then Bo Williams, another superstar X Factor. How is this an 82 overall team? This is the best damn 82 overall team I've ever seen. This, again, this might not be fun at all. This could be the end of our season, which would make me sad. And you guys sad, too. It might be the end of the series. Don't tell anyone. I, I guess who you, you, you know. All right. This is, this is it. Now or never. One game away from the Super Bowl. This is what we play for. Could be the series on the line. Let's do something. Pat Bridge back to return. Let's find some space. Let's work up the field. Let's score a touchdown. This offense is going to be very tough to stop. So we have to take our chances when we're on offense. And not give in at all. Here's Teague. First carry of the game. Trying to find some space. And he gets maybe six yards. It's not too bad. Can we try a screen on second and three? Seems like they're kind of reading it. But it was open anyway. I don't know. That was weird. Another third down. Kind of a weird time to take a shot. But if Dennis Peoples burns over the top, we might have to throw that ball. Also, apparently with faster releases with Gunslinger. It's wide open. I found it. It's Matthew Wayne. Master Wayne. That's the worst, like, Alfred from the Batman impression ever. <laughs> also called it the Batman What's going on right now? Either way, it is first and ten. From Master Wayne. That's, a, that's slightly better, but still not good. And I take a sack. Can I focus on the game? Miles Garrett gets into the backfield. 
All right. This is not a good spot. I like the post here. If this is covered too, we can take the safety away. And then Givens could be wide open, kind of in that underneath, uh, underneath area. Just have to throw it away. They're flying at me. Third and a very long 17. Can we get that? Nope. All right. I don't know what happened there. I think we were just kind of forced to throw longer after taking the sack. And then we're in a tough spot. Their defense is playing pretty well. But we get three points, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I just fear that we're going to have a very tough time stopping their offense. So we really needed to touch down. Run up the middle. Yep. Oh, Chubb takes a shot, but Nick Chubb is not going to fumble. He broke the first tackle. Don't ever like to see that. But again, like he's going to be tough. They have three superstar X-Factors on the field right now. In Nick Chubb. In Odell Beckham Jr. And of course, their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. As Chubb gets his second attempt of the game. Not a second... Uh, Second touch of the game. I don't know why I was struggling to find the word touch. Run to the right. Holloman. Big hit. The ball comes out. It's recovered by Dillard. Wow. That was a monster, monster shot from Jameel Holloman. Chubb put the football on the ground. That's what happens when the rubber meets the road. An unstoppable force meets an immovable object. And we found out that Nick Chubb was not unstoppable. Jameel Holloman cracks him. Football comes out. Demetrius Miller just can't come up with the recovery. Dillard recovers. And the Browns still have the football. That's a missed opportunity. That's a missed opportunity. It looked a little bit grim there for a minute with Baker Mayfield just finding any way he can to get it to Nick Chubb. As that's got to be a touchback. That's got to be a touchback. Thank God. That was almost dangerous. We took a gamble by letting that go, but it's a gamble that paid off. And let's see what we can do here. I don't really want to throw this bubble screen because Denzel Ward is nuts. Oh, that's actually Mac Wilson. Okay, we'll throw at Mac Wilson. Second and four. We take deep shots. We get that. Oh, what a throw. What a throw to the tight end, Troy Weldon. Matthew Schmidt just dropped it in the bucket. I get so happy when things like that actually work out how I intend them to work out in my head. And that worked out perfectly. Slot fade. I forgot that I love to run this play. But what I do is fairly unique, I think. Which is throw a post over the top. We're going to have to throw underneath, actually. It's the running back, Teague, working as a receiver. And he gets 20. You get people's into the slot here that allows me to put them on a cross and that's exactly where i want them to be just maybe run the people's to people's read and then hit the various givens if it doesn't get open i i just i'm getting used to gunslinger this is not the time to do it track down anzalone so this is going to seem like a weird excuse or whatever but before gunslinger i had to throw the ball way earlier because he took so long to throw the ball. But now with Gunslinger, this is only my second game with it. He's tremendously fast. So when I'm trying to hit Peoples over the middle here, he throws the ball so quickly and it's right to Anzalone. It's on me. It's lack of experience with Gunslinger. And that's a really, really unfortunate time for a turnover. Our great defensive efforts lead to nothing. The Browns have slightly better field positioning than, than moments before. And that's a great tackle. Just tackle him, please. Don't let him get up. Throw at me. They're going to check down, and that's out of bounds. Would have preferred him to actually catch that inbounds and lose a couple yards. It is third and ten. If we can stop the Browns from entering even close to the red zone again, no opportunity for a field goal, that'd be great, and I just couldn't get the hit stick off. Second and one for the Browns from the 24 Let's play action, which means I got to get back. But they checked down to Chubb, who I think got it. Going deep. Reed. Pass breakup. I don't think Hooper would have been able to score a TD on that anyway. I think he was trailing out of bounds. Would have been really tough to get two feet down. It is second and ten. 
Chubb to the left of Mayfield. We got to play over the middle, and they check down. Good tackle. They do get four. It is third down. Do we call for a blitz here? I think we do. We're going to try and overload that right side. Maybe even bump Landry at the line here. Didn't give me the opportunity to, and that's wide open. But he gets out of bounds. Looks like the Browns are only going to be able to tie it up here with a field goal, provided it actually is converted. Probably will be a successful attempt, though. And here it is. Kick is up and good. It's 3-3. Not a whole ton of offense right now. Our defense has played pretty well. And I just made a big mistake on offense. Second and 10. We're rolling out. I don't like any of this. That's a really good throw to Alfonso Peoples. That's so bold. Give me roughing the passer. Yes. Roughing the passer. Extra 15. Interception wouldn't have counted. It wasn't an interception, but you know, if it had been. So that, that was worth it. That was worth it. Gunslinger allows me to get the ball out really, really quickly. And I'm not taking these annoying sacks for the most part anymore. As Alfonso Peoples has space. Big run after catch. All right, Alfonso. He's really stepped up in the past few weeks. I think he had a big game in the divisional too, as well as some of the final games of the regular season. And we'll see what he can do here. Run to Edward Teague. Just be a little faster. Quick throw. I threw it too quickly. I also didn't think he was going to get bumped over the middle. Completely legal within five yards, though. I understand it. It's third and seven. And I'm, I just got to throw it. And I didn't even look it to where I was throwing it. Didn't even look. Just saw that it was open over the middle. Figured maybe it'd be open on the side. Never looked and just threw the ball. I didn't really like the play based on like where these routes were. And what am I going to throw here? Maybe this is the most open, but it's not. And pressure was coming in. So I was either forced to take a sack and get out of field goal range. Or just... Trust that maybe 81 is going to get open in Troy Weldon, and it, it did not happen. That's just my responsibility. Got to make this tackle. Justin Reed saves a touchdown. I tried to make a big time play, did not fill the run lane properly, completely abandoned my gap responsibilities to safety, and we paid dearly for it with my aggression at the position. Worked out that time, though. Second and seven. What is Baker going to do? Well, that's wide open. It's wide open. I mean, I could have played that with Demetrius Miller. Could have played that, taken that away. Thought the deep zone might have, considering that was the only thing on that side of the field. It did not. And we are letting the Browns get in this. More specifically, I am. Okay, so I said more specifically, oddly. It's all I've been able to think about. I can't even speak as to what just happened there. They're saying he got that? Really? Two feet in? He mossed Orlando Holiday. There's one. I mean, that is certainly not a catch. That is not a catch. Nothing about that's a catch. One foot in, the rest of the body out. This is not college yet. It's inside two minutes, so I can't challenge. That's not what a catch is. That isn't a catch. Look at this. One foot. But out of bounds. Significantly. Nothing else comes close. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen. And Chubb turns into Superman. Oh my god. That is the least... Deserve touchdown I've ever seen. What a horrific call. And no review. Unbelievable. We're down 10-3. That is getting cheated. Touchdown before the half expires. Let's get it going. Can we lob that? Alfonso Peoples catches it. Oh, he's still going. We just trusted him. He had separation over the top. 31-yard catch for Alfonso. I'm telling you, he's getting it going a little bit. He's getting it going. We're rolling out here. I mean, Weldon's kind of open. We're going to throw that back across. Dennis Peoples. 
He's down to the 26. Not going to call a timeout just yet. Two interceptions in this game, man. Frustrating. One of them was brain dead. The other one was lack of experience. Both, of course, my fault. It's wide open. Slant. Pitch back. That's, that's way too bold. That's insane that I just tried that. I was watching some some replays i just randomly thought of the hook and ladder in the oklahoma boise state fiesta bowl of 2007 i think the game might have been in 2008 but the 2007 tostitos fiesta bowl oklahoma boise state if you've not watched that game i think it's the best game in college football history and it has a crazy 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 finish and i i, I saw it last night i wanted to rewatch it and I, I had it in my mind. I tried for the hook and ladder. It was bold. I'm lucky that it wasn't worse than what happened. Dennis Peoples, Mossism! One hand snag. He brought it into his second hand, don't get me wrong, but that's an amazing play either way. And we are gonna tie it up before the half. You just gotta trust your best players sometimes. Dennis Peoples goes up and makes a fantastic play. It is 10-10. And that is the end of the first half. Decent football game here, 10-10. We've made some big-time mistakes, but we've recovered. The Browns get the football to start the third quarter. Our defense has played well. Hats off to the defense. They've been admirable. And the Browns got a lucky touchdown. That's, I mean, what else can you call it? What else can you call it? Is it a run? It is. Miller. I think he's going to get the first down. He's going to be real close if he didn't. Third and inches. Okay, this is a huge third down then. We're going to send everybody. If this is a pass, congratulations, but I'm committing to the run. Miller cannot stop Chubb from stretching. Oh, my. Third and two. Jumbo package for Cleveland. And a run again. Big hit, and this time Demetrius Miller wins the battle. And that could help us win the war. Fourth and two from the 43. If you're Cleveland here in real life, I think you really consider going for this. But they're going to trust their defense, which has come up with two turnovers already today. Not the worst move in the world either. Don't hate it. I spun the wrong way. David Bakhtiari. My 98 overall left tackle. Going to hold there. You wish that didn't happen. We cannot get sacked here. Just going to check down. Matthew Wayne. Second catch of the game. Play action. That's wide open. Dennis, make a miss. Oh, that would have been so nice. We'll take the catch. Dennis the menace, fourth catch of the game. Schmidt. I mean, Dennis Peoples is wide open again. We stay in bounds here? I tried to uh, back juke. But it turned into like a weird juke. We'll take the catch, though. Read option. Oh, look at the spin from Edward Teague, and it's coming back. Classic hold. Be Bakhtiari again, please. Dexter Inslee, the center. That's okay. I, I expect him to do bad stuff. But now we're set up with first and 20. I want to throw to, to Dennis Peoples right here. And we fumble. Oh, my goodness. I, I was locked down the field. Mac Wilson recovers. And it is a Cleveland touchdown. All right. Yeah, I don't believe that either. Third turnover of the game. It's 17-10 Cleveland. This play could be so dirty if it works the way I think it might. That's not where I want it. I, I, I didn't mean to press square. I wanted Dennis Peoples. Another big mistake for me. I really didn't want to throw that, and I just I clicked the button. I thought Peoples was going to be wide open, and I throw to the wrong one. Just press the wrong button. I do that way too often. Literally throwing the game away. The fumble, I can't really do anything about. Just pressure got in quicker than I was able to realize it. Where are you going, Jameel Hall? And we can't even hit him. Jameel Holloman. I want to see what his, his zone was there. I need to see what call that was. So he's in a hook zone. Watch what he does. Watch what he does right here. Watch how broken zone coverage is. He's on his man, Jarvis Landry, and then runs away. 
Why? It's going to be 24-10 Cleveland, and we got an uphill battle. I cannot make any more stupid mistakes. Holland. Ball's loose. Recover it. Well deserved. This time, Demetrius Miller falls on the Jameel Holland and forced fumble. Chubb puts the football on the ground. Damn, Marlon Mack is significantly better than Nick Chubb. Second fumble of the game. I hit circle. He was wide open and is a bad throw. I get that he's on the run. Weldon, nice snag. We really trusted him on that. Really trusted him. He never really got open. But he made it happen. First and ten. Peoples, does he have it? I don't think so. And I'm, I'm just waiting for one of the slants to get open. Grimes brings me down for the sack. They're rushing four and they're getting in quickly. Play action. I, I need somebody to make a play. I need my offensive line to hold up. I didn't like Weldon there. I like the lob. Fonzo. Big 30-yard completion. Oh, we're really trusting him today. That's a really nice play, though. We're really trusting our receivers on this drive. Thrown underneath. Alfonso can't catch it this time. This is absolutely going to be a rollout. I mean, that's just open. Anzalone looks so fast. But Edwi, Edwi, Eddie Teague, Edward Teague gets the first down. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I'm starting to stress out. We're going to need to play defense. Which I feel like our defense does. Like they have played well today. That's open. Devarius Givens. Nice play. Inside the 10. I was going to... I got to cancel this play action. This could be a blitz and then we're going to be really screwed. I mean, it kind of was. That's open. End zone. Weldon touchdown. Troy Weldon got the toe drag. And it got the touchdown. I thought we were down by two scores. That's right. We forced a fumble on the goal line. It's 17 all. What a catch by Troy Weldon. Way to find the back of the end zone. And we are tied. Up the middle. Miller puts the football on the ground from Chubb. Recovered by Isaiah Simmons. Chubb fumbles. I said it in a weird way. Third fumble of the game. I mean, we're hit sticking him enough. He's held on through some vicious contact. But I'm glad he's fumbled three times. This hasn't happened with, like, any running back we've gone up against. I need Dennis Peoples to seal the edge here. Oh, it's sealed. Teague, one man to beat. Juked, touchdown. His juke was a spin, by the way, even though I hit in on the right stick. I'll take it. Eddie Teague, touchdown. I can't remember the last time I said that. 10-yard play for Eddie Teague, maybe even 11 or 12. I can't remember where we were. That's a really nice play, and we actually cap off a drive with a rushing touchdown. 24-17. We could win this. Baker is in the zone, though. I mean, if you guys saw the top right of the screen, I was out in single coverage against two guys. <laughs> Baker just wouldn't throw it. Up the middle. I feel like he did a pretty good job of getting over there. I feel like he did a pretty good job. Isaiah Simmons ends up making... Oh, we got credit for that tackle. Never mind, I'll take that. Go deep. Going deep. Orlando Jones. Touchdown. I, I wish I didn't say go deep. What do you do there? Switched on. Tried to have him not catch that. And he caught it. 24-24. Pending the extra point. It's up and good. Five minutes. Five minutes for the rest of our lives. Let's get a win. And he just fumbled. Pat Bridge just fumbled, and it's housed. Okay, so that didn't go well. 
Still five minutes for the rest of our lives. There's that. That's a positive, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, that was great. I should not ever return a kick again. A mistake could actually spell the end of our season here. So we don't want that. Eddie Teague's actually had a pretty good game. But we do our best work through the air. I just can't make mistakes. And we need our offensive line to hold strong. And I just... If we had time. I, I needed to throw the ball away, though. Nothing really got open. Third and 16. This is the exact situation I was looking to avoid. This is really bad. This is really bad. Dennis Peoples looks doubled. Third and 16. I needed that to get open. I need you to catch it. Dennis Peoples snags it. He's in the zone. I thought that might have been intercepted. Might have been deflected and completed his sixth catch over 120 yards receiving just had to throw it up we trusted our best receiver and he snagged it right in front of the safety delpit oh man that could have been it and we could throw this super deep down the field can we go max protect here we can i just need my offensive line to hold up we can throw as deep as possible Peoples, it's incomplete. He's going to be out of the zone now. And that's incomplete. Okay. Inaccurate for who knows what reason. Maybe we try Texan Trail again. It's four down territory. We do not need the first down on this play. Although it would be good if we could. It's wide open. Square was also open, but it was a longer throw, and Weldon fights back for the first after losing it. I didn't trust throwing to Dennis Peoples there. I thought the throw was slightly too far. I wanted to take something a little safer. And we're looking at overtime right now. We are looking at overtime if we can score a touchdown. Teague. Do we let that go to the two-minute warning? We're not going to have a choice. There's a two-minute warning. Down by a touchdown. Two minutes to go. We're handling the clock pretty well. Second and three. Teague's gonna, another, he's gonna get another touch here. Another handoff. Another carry. And he fights for the first down. He's having a great game today. Actually, let's reset this. Let's, uh, I thought he was on like a table route. He's not. Rolling out. Send that up the field. Vanilla Vic should have blockers. We're going to step out of bounds, though. Unintentionally. But Vanilla Vic. Merch link in the description. Have I mentioned that? Teespring. You can uh, get some free bangle merch. By, I, well, by free, I mean it costs money. Why did I say free? Either way. It is first and ten. How is he playing that good coverage against Dennis Peoples? Vanilla Vic. We got to slide. Let's not be insane. It's Grant Delpit. We're down to the three. We're going to go into uh, chew clock mode. Take some time off the clock. I mean, we got to play for the touchdown here. Will we score a little bit too quickly? If we do on this play, that's fine. We're going to spin back. We maybe had it, but I just... I don't want to give them a minute to score. Turn off chew clock. Then we're second and goal from the three. Well, I mean, we have to put Alfonso Peoples on a... Uh, on a uh what is that a streak there i want to throw it so quickly got to alfonso peoples dropped the ball he dropped it five points videos can't believe it how do you drop that i can't believe that i cannot believe that weldon i'm gonna roll out to the right side no we're not no we're not no we're not Got to throw it away. It's third and goal. I mean, oh, that's crazy. Fourth and goal. Try to draw him off sides. Game on the line. Weldon. Touchdown. We got it. I thought we were about to get a really bad animation on that. But we got the touchdown when we needed it most. I've come really close to missing extra points. Not this one. Accurate kick. 31-31. They only have 10 seconds. That was managed beautifully. If we didn't get it, the game was over. 
But that was managed really well. They're going to be forced to return this. Probably from what? Like the five? Uh, okay, that was way deeper than I thought. Ten seconds to play. They do have three timeouts. Okay, Chubb just got way too many yards. Five seconds. They're going to have to throw deep. Holloman. And that ball is incomplete somehow. Really weird play. We're going we're gonna to go to overtime. 21 points in the fourth quarter. To tie things up at 31. And here's the coin toss. This could decide the game. The Browns have won the toss. They're going to receive, of course. And we need our defense to allow anything but a touchdown. Play as conservatively as possible. Run. Chubb breaks a tackle. Way to finish Orlando Holiday, our slot corner. Second and 11. I say play as conservatively as possible. So let's get out of this blitz. No real deep safety. I want to put Simmons back. Manually. Just because I, I don't want to get anything deep down the middle. And that is just open. Didn't look like a lot of space, but he found Garfield. Must have been some lasagna nearby. Am I right? You guys read any newspaper comics? I, it's not really a topical reference. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Second and three. They're going to pass. Playing underneath. Incomplete. Third and three. I'm gonna I'm gonna blitz. I'm gonna blitz here. The reason I want to blitz is because we can drive them out of field goal range with a tackle for loss. Okay. They're lobbing it up. It's intercepted Orlando Jones. Let's go! Field goal wins the game. Bad time for a turnover from Baker Mayfield. But we we still need to get down the field. We still need to get down the field. Rolling out. We're going to lob it down the field. Bazooka. Peoples win the battle. And he does. Dennis the Menace. One on one with a safety in Grant Delpit. And that's a 58 yard catch. We'll take a shot on first down after a turnover. Kind of a crazy spot for it. But it works out. And there's a good block. Oh it would have been a good block. If you didn't allow him to shed instantly. Second and seven. Up the middle. Teague. How are we managing to run on this defense? Teague has been able to get nothing the entire series. And today, I mean, he's chosen a great time to break out. Third and three, I almost trust him to run the ball here. And why not? Field goal wins the game for us. And Teague gets the first down. Third and goal. Troy Weldon, touchdown. Game over. Walk off TD in Austin. The Browns are going home. And we are going to the Super Bowl. That was a crazy one. That was a crazy one. One of the more insane games of the series. The AFC Championship goes to overtime. And we managed to walk it off. We don't have to settle for a field goal and get iced and miss and cry. <laughs> we win the old-fashioned way with a touchdown. Matthew Schmidt throws for 481 and four TDs. Three interceptions, not... Great. Rushing, Edward T. Average five per carry. Touchdown. That's awesome. Receiving. <laughs> Look at some of these guys. Troy Weldon, eight catches for 84 yards and three touchdowns. Peoples, seven for 182 and one touchdown. Alfonso Peoples goes for over 100 yards. Matthew Wayne had three catches. Even T got involved. A big catch for Devarius Givens. Demetrius Miller again is listed as a receiver with a drop that happened like last game. And then defensively, Jameel Holloman, two tackles for loss. We had a bunch of them. Hall Holiday had one. Jones had one. Chad Brown, Demetrius Miller, Heath Sapp. No sacks. And then the big pick for Orlando Jones at the end of the game. Multiple forced fumbles for Jameel Holloman. Demetrius Miller also forced one and recovered one. Isaiah Simmons with one as well. And no defensive touchdowns. But Troy Weldon, three touchdowns, really wins us the game here. And he gets the winning TD. This was one of the best games of the series. Upgrades for Isaiah Simmons. Let's do 
let's do run stopper on him. Make him a more complete linebacker. Get that block shedding up by three. End zone coverage goes up. It's already really high. Block shedding now to 75. Matthew Schmidt, this is a big one. All accuracies are into the 90s now. I'd love for throw on the run to be higher. Which is improviser. Yep. He's up to an 89 overall with morale. Throw under pressure up two. Throw accuracy deep up one and break sack up one. I'll take that, I guess. Where's break sack? 79? That's pretty good, actually. Love that. And then Demetrius Miller. He is so awesome. That 88 hit power plays up. And we can get his own coverage into the 80s with this, even though I use him a lot. And we get nothing. <laughs> More upgrades here in the Pro Bowl week. Elton Jenkins. We'll do a Agile for him. He goes up to a 93 overall with morale. A ton of upgrades, including pass block, run block, lead block, all by one, strength by one. Elton Jenkins looking really good. I think next week's episode is going to start with going over the season stats. And then we're headed to the Super Bowl. Maybe, maybe we'll just do the Super Bowl. I don't know. But it is Washington football team. I'll give you guys a little bit of a teaser here. We'll show you the upgrades. We'll show you the dev trait upgrades. Here are the upgrades. Matthew Schmidt with a point. We're going to do improviser again. He goes up to a 90 now with morale. Throw accuracy deep by one, short by one. Throw on the run by one. And throw under pressure by one. That's looking really good. Demetrius Miller, again, I'm going to do zone. You better give me zone this time as awesome as awareness and tackling is zone by one we'll take it 80 with morale and then john carson cole parsons the cpu can upgrade 88 overall 88 offense 89 defense matthew schmidt has had superstar x factor alfonso people stays the same is duvernay gonna be good to go looks unlikely troy weldon stays normal and then defensively luke townsend for the Super Bowl, will be a superstar X Factor. We'll choose that right now. Let's give him. Let's give him shutdown. Let's do that. Justin Reed, I think, has been at star, if I'm not mistaken. He has been. Demetrius Miller's been at superstar. Orlando Jones, does he go up to superstar? He does. Superstar dev for Orlando Jones. Orlando Holiday, if we didn't already know. He has star. The defensive line doesn't get upgraded. That's shocking to me. Because Jeremiah Langford had a great season. 12 sacks. Okay. All right. That's the team, and that's the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Over you, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn taking it back to the house. Defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.